Okay, today we're going to swap out uh, an old uh, DDC battery operated Toro timer with a new one. Um, the black one here on the right uh, seems to be eating up the batteries. I, I've tested it and it seems to work okay, but uh, they've gone through like 10 sets of batteries, 9 volt batteries on this, and the 9 volts should last for two seasons. So the new ones have changed a little bit. Uh, open box, we have uh, three different languages. Uh, these are uh, plastic coated cards that you can leave in the box or you know somewhere people can read let's see we got uh, uh, Spanish and uh, I don't know what this other language is German or something and we have manuals in probably four different languages. I guess French French English Spanish and German possibly anyway so our new one is gray it's pretty much the same setup as before so out of the box, we have, it comes with a cradle, which we're not going to use. We have nowhere to hang it, but if you had a deeper valve box, you could hang this in the valve box, put a screw in there. Uh, this one we're just going to lay on top. Not the best way. I prefer to hang it, but the box isn't that deep. So let's take a look at this. So this is a two zone. It comes in two, two zone, four zone, or six zone. Uh, somewhere it's marked on here. See, it's a two, four, six, or eight station. Actually, it's an eight station. If you had eight station, you probably want to wire in a hard wire timer. So we have, it looks like we have six wires. This looped one is a rain sensor, so unless you have a rain sensor, do not cut it. So it needs to be looped without a rain sensor. If you have a rain sensor, you would cut it. So we have four wires here, and two wires here. We have a black and a red. And because it's a uh, battery operated, uh, black positive, red negative. So orange is for a master valve. If you had one valve that was uh, that would open when each individual valve zone valve opens, then this uh, orange would go to that. Black is going to be basically your common going to all valves, and you have zone one, and the second red is a zone two. So any wires you don't use, you need to put these wire nuts on waterproof wire nut. What I've been told is the reasons these are failing is because guys don't put the wire nuts on the end of these. I'm going to take this plastic off, fold these wires over and put a wire nut on. And that will stop any water from apparently wicking water. They say water can get in here and go all the way up the wire into the timer itself and cause this timer to short out. So I'm going to hook this up and then show you. Okay, as we see, we have a black and red wire here, and I always like to take some extra wire off that, where uh, the company that makes these, they say you can just hold the two wires together. Obviously, these two don't go together. I'm just gonna show you. Hold the two together and twist the wire nut onto that, but uh, that's not good. You actually need to twist the wires together, and the reason I like to do that is because if the wire nut ever comes off, these will still be attached together. If you don't, if you just hold them, sideways and turn the wire nut on guys will come in this box they'll move these wires apart and if these aren't on tight they just fall off and next thing you know your plants are dead so let me quickly wire this up and test it out okay so we got it all wired up here got the wire nuts on and I just tied that in a bunch there so there's lots of slack to pull this out and then you open the battery cover up and you'll see you have two 9 volt connections and you should hear the valves, the solenoid go click click when you put the first battery in. And uh, let me just see if I can do this one handed. Oh. You could hear it make that noise. You see, we have a display with one battery. Well, two batteries are just for extra, extra voltage because it is a battery operated timer. Two batteries are better than one. Let's see if I can do this one handed again. There we go, got it. Okay, so we're gonna set up the timer. So we have a display Toro when you first put it on, there's nothing in this display. The dial actually moves this around and we have different functions, plus minus on off and different programs. So. Uh, we need to set time, so we're gonna go first here, which is uh, set date and or set time and date. So uh, we just advance. So we're 2017, and then we go next, and then we hit the month. 
which we're in July. And the day is the 10th. And you can see the top bar there it coincides with the day of the week. So today is Monday and that's all correct. So it's sort of a double check. And next we have our time uh, choice and we're gonna go with a 12 hour clock. And then we go next and just hold it. And once it starts going, it goes in 15 minute increments. And we're 10.30, so just hold it until we get close to our time at 10.30, and then we can make some minor adjustments to get to the exact time. She looks like it goes in 10 minute increments. 10, oh, back to 30. Okay, so we're done there, and we can just check that by going next and see if we're back to uh, the year. So now the dial will go to run times. And we see it's uh, what's flashing is a zone one, and we only have one zone, and it's on program A. So that's good. We can change programs, but we don't need that. We're just going to leave on program A. And uh, I want 15 minutes, so let's just. Uh, so one is. It's going to go up to 15. And then next, we'll go to two, and we don't need anything. And I've noticed you can't actually count down to zero. So see, it goes four hours and then one minute. But I, what you do is you hold these two buttons, and you see it should turn off. There you go, off. So two is off. And we go back around, and then we go 15 minutes. We got it. So next is watering day, so let's turn the dial. And we basically uh, remove what we don't want and just add what we do want. It defaults every day of the week. So if you did something wrong or the power had a surge or something, it should default back to every day of the week. So let's, we, we want Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday here. Okay, so we ran out of time, so let's turn this back on and we're back where we left off. So we're gonna minus Sunday. We want Monday, we don't want Tuesday, we want Wednesday, not Thursday, not Friday, and we want Saturday. So we're all done here. And if you wanted some other setup, you can go next. You have interval every day well as odd days and even days in back to calendar so we're finished there so now we want our start times and we'll start this at uh, 3 30 a.m. so we have a start time number one so you can have three start times and three programs we just want one we're gonna keep it really simple so three days a week it, it comes on for 15 minutes at 3 30 a.m. so we're just gonna back this off to 3 30 a.m. well I went way too far There we go, 3.30. Turn the dial. We have an adjustment here, and what this shows is you can actually adjust each month, and uh, what 10 is, it's actually 100%, so that 15 minutes we put in, that's 15 minutes of time, and you can adjust each month, so if you wanted more in July, you just basically go up. Oh, let's go. So if we went up to 20, it's actually 10% over our 15 minutes. So that would be 15 minutes plus 10%, so that would be another minute and 50 seconds. And you can go next and actually adjust each month. So if you want more in August, or here we don't water in the winter, but July and August is hotter, so some people would increase for that. I'm just gonna leave everything at 100%. Then we have our manual uh, station, where we could turn it on for uh, just a, a few minutes and then put it back to auto. So how that works is you choose your zone. So we can put some time on. It usually goes to five minutes, but you can back it down to two minutes. And then you just turn the dial back to auto run. And it's gonna turn on, and then it's gonna go back into the manual operation. So we're not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna count that down. And that early, off, two buttons. Nano program is just goes through the program that you have already uh, inputted in, and then uh, the master valve control, or sorry, the water off, is there, and there's no display, and it says off, and then auto run is back to the uh, position you would keep it on for the, the season. So just to show you how the uh, manual station goes, is I'm going to put it on for two minutes. So let me just go around, and I can put on. We don't want four hours, one, two, two minutes, and then just turn the dial to auto, and it's gonna go on for two minutes, and then back to the automatic cycle. So there we go. And 
the sprinklers come on. I'm gonna end this early. You hold the button and it ends early. Got a little wet, but uh, there we go. And uh, don't forget to put your batteries back, put your cap back on. So it's back in the box and uh, this is a reference card, a little bag came uh, with the timer so I just put it in the bag and I've left it in the box so if someone needs to access this later they do have a little bit of information. And the uh, Toro sign is up and that means it's in auto position and we're ready to go.